So hey you guys, good morning. It's Monday morning or afternoon. Um, they start to the day, but um what I'm going to do today is do a kind of makeup challenge from MUA Larissa. I'll leave her information below, but she had posted this picture. I put it up here, um, of some flowers that had inspired her to kind of come up with a makeup challenge of doing things that inspire you that are kind of like more organic versus, you know, what you see on YouTube or Instagram or whatever. So, um, I've been following her since forever when I got ready to start trying to, you know, play in my face a little bit more. She was one of the first people that I kind of discovered and kind of learned a lot of techniques from and, um, just her tenacity about, um, doing makeup and having fun and going, and I've always been like that, just kind of like have fun with your makeup, um, experiment, get out there if you want to, um, you don't have to get stuck doing what everybody else is doing, um, if you want to put on glitter every day, do it, it's your face, <laughs> um, but yeah, she kind of, when she, when I first started watching her, her other, her older videos, so, were like, she just was, and she still is to this day, but, you know, she was really into colors and, you know, just kind of doing stuff and having a good time with makeup. And that's kind of what I wanted to do um, just from a, I'm not a makeup artist. So this would be strictly from um, just a regular person perspective. So um, if you get a chance, go check her out. Um, and uh, we're going to have a little makeup. Fun. I am going to pull some pinks from. Whew, some palettes I kind of was swatching yesterday well late last night because I was just up um trying to figure out you know um, what pinks I could use to try to get as close as I could to what she was she had done so um when I come back we will get started on the first um shade okay and the first shade I'm gonna go to, into is called studio and I'm going to pull that out of the um Jean-Michel Boisquet collection and it is the lighter pink I'm just gonna start that a little bit above um before I kind of go directly into my crease. So I'm just kind of getting the top landed. Probably need to do a couple of iterations of that. <clears throat> On that same little brush, which I wiped off, I'm gonna go in with 1960, which is right next to it. I think this will be a good transition shade, yeah. So um, what I would like to do, and you guys let me know if you'd be interested, um, my sister is just now getting into kind of like makeup and, you know, really working on her, her face and stuff like that. But, um, she has been Sephora shopping here lately and she has gotten a, quite a, a decent little collection going. But I want to do a makeup, uh, day with her where we do our sit down and do our makeup together. I just think it would be funny because you guys just got to see, um, some of her tools and stuff that, you know, <laughs> I just want you to see how sometimes the tools just really make a difference. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I just think it would be funny. I'm still trying to convince her to do it. Um, we kind of talked about it a little bit yesterday. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. <laughs> so just to deepen this a little bit, I am going into the Sephora Pro Palette. And I am using the shade Tila. Tila. T-I-I-L-A. I'm just going to deepen the crease a little bit with that. And I'm still using the same brush. I've just been kind of brushing it off on my clean sweep but um, to kind of get these colors kind of laid down. Gonna go back in with that transitional shade 1960 from, uh, this is on a whole nother brush, 1960 from the Urban Decay Mac John Michelle Basquet. I'm just gonna use that to kind of blend this up out a little bit. And to deepen that outer crease a little bit, I'm going to stay in the same palette, the John Michel Basquet, and I'm going to pick up that shade Neon. Let me see if that's going to give me... Neo, not Neon, Lord. It's going to give me what I need, because I'm thinking I may pull this purple shade from um, Makeup Forever, but we'll see in just a second what this does for me. Okay, I am going to have to go into the Makeup Forever. Um, this is the Artist Shadow Palette. This is the number two. And I'm picking up that purple shade that's in there. This little purple shade. I'm going to use that to kind of deepen this outer corner just a little bit. 
and I'm gonna go in between it and the shade from the Urban Decay uh, color that I just used. I'm just gonna go in between those two and go back and forth. So the next shade I'm gonna pick up is still out of that Makeup Forever, this pink shade right here. I think it's ME700. And I am gonna swirl. I'm just gonna see if I can kinda keep that bright. Let's grab a little bit of a Fix Plus. And spray that and just see what we can come up with. So to break up the pink just a little bit and kind of open my eyes back up, um, I am going to go in with the shade Rose Quartz from the Sephora Pro Palette. I'm going to spritz this brush just a little bit. And I'm going to kind of Take it up a little bit onto the, just a little bit, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. So she took a little bit of glitter and I'm just gonna use the uh, Urban Decay Heavy Metals uh, Glitter in Midnight Cowboy to see if I can get, because you know I have these little hooded lids, so. Let's see if we can get her kind of copy done. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like it. That this would transfer onto my little stuff. So trying to go above it. Like right here into the fold. But they are so hood, Lord. Keep it just like that. Once this dries, I may have to go over the uh, ooh, the little glitter part that got on my eye. So I'm thinking that they should look a little something like this, and I will have a little bit of cleanup from the glitter. Which what I should do was just keep my eyes open. Um, but I'll try to fix it with some of the pink. Cause that pink is kind of potent it may be able to kind of take away that little glitter look we'll see <laughs> so the eyes should look a little something like this um i kind of like it it's different uh, i'm still trying to get the glitter kind of correct there's a little more over here than over here so i'm gonna continue to let it dry and then i'll be adding to it um to hopefully make it make sense but i, I like it so far it's definitely outside of the comfort zone so yeah hmm. we'll be back before i look in a little bit so for reference i'm using the wet and wild um photo focus foundation and i am in the shade Co using the shade coco i think this is a little light for me but um we'll work it out and i'm gonna use the clinique beyond perfecting foundation plus concealer i'm gonna use this as my concealer today I've never done that. I've tried to use it as a foundation. It's just not um, what I like. So we're going to try it today as a concealer. Okay, I like the way that conceals. So we're just going to go in a little bit with the tape shade. I'm going to use tan sand just to brighten it up a little bit underneath here. You know, just a little bit of highlight, not much. But yeah, I kind of like the way that concealed. While that's baking, um... Yeah, I just want you guys to know I really like this um, 
using the Clinique as a concealer. Yeah, I'm, I'm baking with the translucent RCMA. The translucent, not the no color powder one. I like this translucent one. So hey you guys, this is the final look for me today. Um, I had a lot of fun trying to create Larissa's um, <laughs> orchid. That's what we're calling it. I even put on a flower shirt to go with the orchid. But anyway, um, let me know you guys' thoughts. Um, pretty, pretty fun. Mm -hmm. So I think the point from her perspective and mine is you got to find things that inspire you. And um, she was inspired by the flower, and I'm always inspired by her. So, yeah, I tried to do it some justice. It's, a, you know, the glitter. Um, you guys now have those hooded lid, lids, so um, sometimes it's a little difficult to pull off those little um, looks like that. But I, I think it turned out pretty cute. It's a little uneven on this side, but anyway we're gonna keep it rolling and i just want to say thank you guys so much for always looking for the videos and commenting and giving me great feedback i truly truly appreciate it um on my lips of course because before i forget i just did a little bit of my molasses my molasses where is it y'all should you guys should see my the station after uh oh lord look like a storm been through here but <laughs> I just put a little bit of the Sephora molasses lined it and then I went in with an oldie but goodie the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Long Wearing Lipstick this this um is really a great nude for chocolate girls I don't think they sell these anymore though this this is old um but it still works and I just put a little bit of a uh, Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar in the center but that's it uh, let me know what you all think um uh, maybe you all will recreate this look let me know i would be interested to know if you did um until the next turn i will see you guys on the until the next time i will see you guys on the next turn thanks you too bye bye